This video is sponsored by iVisa. Are you traveling soon and want to get your visa in a few clicks and without headaches? iVisa is the best solution for you. So check out the link in the description below. Good morning from Paris. Uh, in the previous video, we told you that we wanted to show you some less touristy spots in Paris. And today we're gonna focus on the Parc de Bouchemont that is located in the 19th district. If we decide to show you this spot, it's because it's a huge, beautiful and greeny park full of history. So let's go have a look. Do you know that Bouchemont is one of the biggest parks in Paris? Actually the fifth one. And it was opened in 1867 after four years of reconstruction. And reconstruction of what? Yeah, because Bouchemont uh, has not always been this kind of family park with people having a picnic, people running and people having fun. Uh, before it was actually a huge career of Gipsum. It was really looking differently. I'm gonna put some so picture. Take a look to those pictures. The work that have been made here is unbelievable, isn't it? The carriers are exploited until 1860. The Emperor Napoleon III decided to transform this place in a park and Jean-Charles Alphonse will be in charge of it. We just crossed the Rosa Bonheur. It's actually one of the two place where you can come at night, have a drink and even dance. I don't know if it's open until late at night, but that's pretty cool. It's a really good spot to have a drink. I think one of the most touristic places in the whole park. It's actually on the top of the hill of Butchemont. It's pretty nice. We have a big view on Paris. The beautiful view on the Montmartre. Just here. <laughs> it's really beautiful. And this place is actually called the Temple de la Sibylle. And it was copied on a really famous temple of Vesta from Tivoli in Italy. <laughs> We are now crossing the suspension bridge that is between the park and the Temple de la Sibylle. As you can see, it's kind of moving, so it's not really comfortable to be on it. And there's so many people that are trying to like, jump on it to make it even worse. You have to know that this bridge was designed by Gustave Eiffel, the design of Eiffel Tower. But let's just say the truth, he probably put a little bit less effort in this bridge than the Eiffel Tower. We're going now to have a look to the cave of the Butchemont. But wait guys, we are not in Myanmar, we are not in Laos. It's a Parisian cave. <laughs> so don't be too greedy, don't be too impatient to see that. And apparently it was the entrance of an old carrier. It's pretty cool. Hello. This is the cave. <laughs> Right here, it's supposed to have a waterfall. A fake waterfall, of course. But I think they turn it off, I don't know why. And the dog is there right now. Hello. <laughs> it's a mix of fake and real. Uh, what I mean by that is that here, for example, like I said just before, is the entrance of an uh, old carrier. But when they decide to close those carrier, uh, they turn this place as a beautiful park. And for example, here you can really definitely see it. Like, like the shape and the entrance is still here, but it's full of 
concrete and shape that they made. Like for example, just over this white net, there is what we call the stalactite. You know, this huge formation things who come from the ceiling and they are just over the, the white net and they are totally fake. Of course, they are just a shape of concrete, which is, I think, really kitsch and cheap and old school. But maybe like six years ago, it was really nice to have this kind of thing here in Paris. After visiting uh, and showed you this beautiful park, which is the Butte Chaumont, we're gonna do like most of the people are doing here. We're gonna take some picnic. Yes. Yeah. We sit, we find like a perfect place. And it's cool in this park because nobody will tell you to don't sit here or to sit here, which is kind of the case in most of the park in Paris. Here you can just sit everywhere. There is really not a lot of people right now because we are during the week. Mm. So it's pretty cool and enjoyable. So we bought some bread. We have a baguette that we already eat a little bit. Some other snacks. Obviously we have some beers because... That's an obligation, you know it? Not possible without it. Some tzatziki and tarama. Let's show, show them directly the cheese. Oh my god. We cannot come here, do a little picnic in a Persian park without having some cheese. And obviously, even though it's not, not really healthy, we have to put some healthy. Yeah, yeah just to, for <laughs> our conscience, we add some vegetable today. But anyway, we hope that you enjoyed this little video and we see you in the next one. Bye, and Bye. don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel. And have a little tour in our Instagram. Bye. Bye. If you make it till the end of this video, we wanted to thank you for watching. And if you want to support us, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our upcoming adventures and check out our previous videos.